Hello, my name is Jonathan Ashworth, and this is my New York Times assignment number two. The article I read is called The Science of Older and Wiser by Fels Corky. This article tries to convey the difference between intelligence and wisdom, as well as how wisdom is associated with old age. The writer of this article, Fels Corky, uses several references to the thoughts of experts who all describe wisdom similarly. According to the scientists and professors credited in this article, wisdom comes from a positive mentality, cognitive excellence, experience, and from thinking more about others' needs, rather than being self-centered. The purpose of this article was to not only define wisdom, but also explain how and why older people can achieve wisdom. Corky explains that knowing oneself and accepting one's fate in a positive way will lead to great wisdom and a happier life. In fact, she directly correlates positive and negative mentality with wisdom, saying that the more neurotic a person is, the less wise. Corky also used numerous examples backed by professionals to break down the concepts of wisdom. These sources had various opinions of the makeup of wisdom, but they all generally stated that wisdom and intelligence are not the same thing, and that wisdom was dependent on compassion, tolerance, and experience. The most interesting concept I learned from reading this article would be that a person can have great intelligence but not great wisdom. According to this article, if a person thinks only of himself and has a negative outlook on his life and faith, then he would not be considered wise, even if he is considered smart. Another thing I learned is that aging is often depressing, difficult, and can cause menial tasks to become much harder to accomplish than they would be at a younger age. If I were to research this topic further, I would try to find out how much of the senior population would be considered wise. I feel that since senior citizens were born generations apart from the rest of society, their wisdom might be outdated. I also feel that it's very difficult for the elderly to maintain a positive mentality as many older people are stressed about things like their age and serious medical conditions. I would also like to note that there comes an age where a person's ability to process cognitive thoughts are declined so badly that they can no longer be considered wise. But if I were to research wisdom further, I would expect to find wisdom at varying ages, but rarely in younger people. It would be rare to find great wisdom at a 20-year-old, but I think that some people in the 40s and 50s would be considered wise because of their decades of learning and experience. This article relates to psychology in a few noticeable ways. The most obvious connection would be that it explains how wisdom comes from perception and mentality. The author, Bill Corky, claims that it is wise to think positive and selflessly. The mentality of a senior citizen has developed so much over decades of choice, experience, and learning that he or she has likely developed a wise insight as well as great compassion. This article also relates to memory as it explains that older people have so much memory that it's harder for their brains to pull out information, causing cognition to be slower. Although their thoughts may be slower, Corky states that the ample experience and memories that old people possess allows for more pattern recognition, and this can be beneficially affect their actions and decisions. That was my assignment. Thank you for watching.